All right, folks, today we will be making a brioche French toast with a Bananas Foster's topping. Here is a list of the ingredients. Three cups of whole milk, four tablespoons of brown sugar, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, one banana sliced into quarter inch rounds, two tablespoons vanilla extract, two slices of brioche bread cut into one inch pieces, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, two tablespoons powdered sugar, four whole eggs. All right, folks, first of all, you're gonna combine your four eggs, your milk, and you're gonna wanna beat those together. Be sure you whip it good. You don't wanna leave any uncracked yolks in your mix. To this, you're gonna add your cinnamon, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. All right. Make sure you incorporate this really good. The powdered sugar is just for a little extra sweetness. Now, be in mind, we're doing two slices of brioche bread with this recipe, but this recipe would actually do a good eight to 10 pieces of bread, so. All right, now that it's incorporated, what you're gonna do is turn on your burner to about a medium high heat with one tablespoon of butter. And that's what we have in here. Folks, when your butter starts melting and you get that nice brown color to it, you're gonna dip your French toast and lay it in there. Now with this, you're gonna to wanna to let it cook for at least two minutes before even flipping it. That way you get a nice color on it. And you can smell the cinnamon right away. Now we're using brioche bread, but you're more than welcome to use your favorite bread, Texas toast, whole wheat bread. Um, whatever your preference is. All right, folks, so after two minutes, you're gonna wanna give it a flip. And cook it for another two minutes. Now that's the color that you're looking for right there. The butter gives it a nice little nutty flavor when it's toasted on there. So this meal that we're making today is going to be a, a one pan meal, which means everything is going to be cooked in the same pan. As soon as we, this is done here in about another minute or so, we're going to take it off and we're going to combine everything in here to make the sauce. So it makes it easier for cleanup that we're only using one pot instead of two or three different pans. All right. So after two minutes, you're going to take the French toast off. Any remaining batter, just scrape that off as well. And now you're gonna add in the rest of your butter, which is three tablespoons of butter. To this, you're gonna add in your brown sugar. Don't worry, it just got a little packed in there, but it'll melt. It'll melt just fine. Now 
the key is to constantly stir this so it doesn't stick and burn to the pan. So this you're going to turn it down to a medium heat. As this is cooking down, you're going to want to add your one tablespoon of vanilla extract and your bananas. Remember to keep stirring this folks. What you're doing is you're going to cook this down to almost a caramel sauce. So you want to make sure all the bananas get coated really, really well. All right, once well mixed and you see that everything is completely melted and your bananas are coated, go ahead and turn the heat down or turn the heat off. So here you have your French toast. You're going to get your sauce and pour it over your French toast. Now keep in mind this sauce will make enough for all your French toasts. To this you're going to add to garnish it you'll add powdered sugar. All right, folks, now this is the end result. Nice presentation. I'm guaranteed your family will love this for breakfast any day. So remember, if you like what you watched today, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Y'all have a great day.